Hi everyone, happy Thursday. Joe for Jaspi's Hobbyland. I'm back, back in the hot seat on a Thursday. We've got some soccer going on. This is a nice fun break. Um, it's only $16.99 a spot for a random country. You can see all the countries right there. So we can run this back pretty easily. This is also from a fresh case. A lot of big hits to be pulled out of here, like this guy. I've heard of that guy. And with the World Cup coming up this summer, I, actually like in a month, a little over a month, the World Cup will be starting and that's going to be a huge deal and a good time to get into this part of the hobby because that's where a lot of money can be had. So let me clean up that list a little bit. There we go. A lot of money can be found, a lot of value in these hits that you can that you can potentially pull. All right, so this is break four, which is from a fresh case. Let's randomize uh, the list, both lists, three times. One and a two. One, two, and three. So after three times, we got Sebastian down to Christopher. And then once again, three times for the countries. We comboed a lot of countries, of course. One, two, and three. After three times, we've got Mexico down to Sweden. Bottom. All right, so Sebastian with Mexico. Big boys, 007, Serbia, Senegal, and Russia, the home country. Victor Z, Australia, Belgium. Matt with Argentina. Uh, Victor Z with France. Alex with England. Louis with Croatia. David Kist, Italy, Iran, and Costa Rica. Sean with Wales, Switzerland, Tunisia. Sebastian with Poland, Peru. Uh, Andrew, you have Austria and Chile. Jason with Brazil. Alex with the Japan-Korea combo. You also have Germany with your last spot mojo. Jason Lawner with Colombia. Spain, España for Sebastian. Louis with Norway and Saudi Arabia. Sean with the United States. Christopher with Nigeria, Panama combo. Carlos with Portugal. Sean with Iceland. Denmark, Egypt for Jason Lawner. Sean, you got Uruguay. Anthony with Netherlands, Morocco. And Sweden for Christopher. Uh, for Christopher. There you go. Let's alphabetize by country. Any trades? Um, Alec Carmichael asking if Japan or Germany good. Um, the Japan Korea combo, Germany is really the big one. Those, those will have a lot of big players in Germany. I mean, they're, I think they're one of the favorites to probably win the World Cup. Japan and Korea, they're much smaller countries, so they're not, not like traditional longtime soccer powerhouses. So they've got some players, but not, it's, Germany is not as huge. England is great too. Because that, I think, for for an English-speaking audience, the the England will definitely play a lot a lot better. A lot of collectors in England too. Do I have a checklist for that? I thought I had a checklist for this. Should have copied and pasted. Shinji Kagawa auto is in high. Is it? It could be. I think maybe in his Manchester United days, he would have. I think his value would have been pretty high. But here's the here's the checklist right there. So that's that's for everybody to kind of look at. I think we're just gonna go. I think not too many people are super familiar with with soccer right here. So before accidental mistakes were made, we'll print this out. No, that's what I'm saying. I think in his Manchester United days, he might have had value. But uh, you don't think he's starting for Dortmund? I, actually, I don't think so either. All right, so let me let's, let's unbox this and let's see which four boxes we're going to do. Uh, David Kiss, I'm pretty sure we... No, I know we canceled that break. And I'm pretty sure all the refunds for that break should have been should have been done already. I think there were only a few spots sold anyway. So 
we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So for stack 1, 2, and 3, 1, 2 on the die, 3, 4, 5, 6. And it's 1, so we'll be doing this stack of 4 right here. This will save, in fact, I'll keep these right here. I have a feeling we'll, we'll maybe do another one tonight. But there's Gabriel. What's going on, man? So here's the final list. Yeah, Alex Carmichael's like, I don't know much about the soccer, but Joe Nino says I have good teams. I'll ride it out. Tommy agrees too. Yeah, I think Nino, I know, is a soccer guy. Tommy Bowers, I know, def Tommy B, definitely soccer guy. So I'm a soccer guy. I, th I think you'll get some good, honest, honest answers. All right, here we go. So, quick thing: not every box has an autograph. Just keep that in mind. Not every every box has an autograph. If there is no auto, then that's usually replaced with a low number parallel. Usually, I think out of twenty and under, I think. No, you should have gotten your refund already, David Kiss. We're not keeping that money. We didn't break it. If not, if you haven't received it al uh, already, then uh, you can shoot us an email, jaspieshobby at gmail.com, and we can look into that. But I'm pretty sure Nick took care of that already. Uh, Gabriel, Gabriel also a soccer guy. He got, um, I think Alex Carmichael's fine. He got England, he got the Japan-Korea combo spot, and he has Germany. I think between England and Germany pretty solid. Also, just because I'm a Liverpool supporter, Egypt, boom. We'll send that. Usually the base doesn't send, but I will for Jason Lawner in the Denmark-Egypt combo for Liverpool's Mohamed Salah, who if my, my club's in the World Cup, or in the, in the uh, not the World Cup, the Champions League final, Liverpool is. And, you know, in part to, a lot in part to that guy right there. And, uh, yeah, I'm hoping to take down, my club is hoping to take down Real Madrid in the Champions League final. Now, all the, all the, all the quarterfinals, semifinals, those legs have all been two-legged. They have the home rule, the away goal rule, which is sometimes a little confusing to to uh, to American uh, supporters. But this is just a one-off, and it's on a Saturday, so you'll probably see, you'll probably see me after the match. Unless maybe I'll actually take that day off and go down to the English pub in Santa Monica. I might actually do that. All right, so you might not see me actually. All right, here we go. We got Hugo Lourdes right there. See, th those those velocity ones aren't numbered, so I'll kind of be breezing by those. These are numbered. Abdallah Saeed for Egypt. So we'll top load those before they ship out. 64 out of 99. We'll ship it out along with this guy too. This guy might win Ballon d'Or. What would it take for Mohamed Salah to win Ballon d'Or? You guys. If he wins the... If Liverpool finishes fourth, right, gets a Champions League spot. If they win the Champions League, I guess we'll... S wins the Champions League... And then if Egypt like gets out of their group in the World Cup, that might do it. Unless like unless like Messi wins the World Cup. 
Javier Mascherano, 32 out of 120. Maybe a hat trick in the final, that would help too. Hat trick in the final, a decent showing in the World Cup for Egypt, like leading Egypt to a decent showing in the World Cup. The Milik is also out of 125. So, and then if, if Argentina crashes out early and if Portugal crashes out early, that might lead the way for Ballon d'Or for, for Messi. Um, I don't think we will do a pick your team for this, Nino. There's Yuto Nagatomo. Of course. For Inter, actually. He plays for Inter Milan. I don't want, that's right. He does, doesn't he? A lot of a lot of the a lot of the top Asian players or the Japanese and Korean players that you'll see in this set, Alex, will often um, will often be playing for some uh, big European clubs, so they'll actually have some some visibility there. We'll save a Messi. We'll save a Chicharito as well. And John Obi Mikel. Is he still playing? Out of 125. There's Cristiano. We'll save some of those. Patrick Goodwin says, sorry for soccer, but you think Egypt sucks and USA is the better team? We're not even in the World Cup, dude. <laughs> that's, that's actually, which is kind of embarrassing as a soccer fan. We're not even in the World Cup. So I think they're actually better than us right now. We'll, we'll, we'll get them in four years, Patrick. Yeah, we lost to Trinidad. And Tobago. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, we probably would be actually if if we were if we were in the the uh, the Oceana qualification. Is it Oceana? I think we we would make it there, right? We probably we could probably beat New Zealand. Probably beat Australia and the Socceroos down there. FIFA said Canada will be getting the World Cup in 2019. It's kind of difficult when the World Cup's every four years, Patrick, and it's happening this year. Which World Cup? The Snooker World Cup, maybe? Darts World Cup? Maybe that, maybe a Snooker World Cup. Breaking World Cup, says Gabriel, possibly. But they will not be getting, they will not get, be getting the FIFA World Cup in 2019. Unless the Women's World Cup, is that, I thought that was every two years from, from the from the men's World Cup cycle. I forget. Oh, women's is next year. But that's in France, right? So. Patrick with a lot of strong soccer knowledge. 
Carlos Vaca for Colombia out of 199. Oh, the, tw the 2026 in Canada. I don't think they've even done... I don't think they've even gotten all the bribery money yet for that 2026 one, right? They haven't worked on that yet, have they? I don't even know when all that stuff happens, when the bribery window opens. How much is uh, how much is Canada willing to bribe, Patrick? I think the United States are willing to bribe a lot this time around. So all those velocity will ship, but um, they're they're not numbered. So that's why I'm breezing by those, FYI. I'm gonna have to take a careful look at that name before I say it. It's uh, Karim Ansari Fard. There we go. And all my Persian friends will just be like, Joe. That's 20 out of 40. And there's Milik again for Poland out of 149. Wait, we didn't see an auto yet, right? So what was the low numbered card in the first box? Hold on, I might, I might have to double, I might have to double check that. I feel like we missed a low numbered card or a lower numbered card out of the first box. Now they're all not all guaranteed to have that, but still. All right, I'll double check it in a second. Oh, the final decision is in June for the next for the 2026 or whatever that next World Cup is. There's Olivier Giroud, Paul Pogba, Marcelo. I hope it wasn't one of those. I don't think it was. Julian Draxler, nice. Four out of 15. So there should be another one like that in the other one. Maybe I missed it. I don't think I did. That's for Germany. Which is a nice one there. That goes to Alex Carmichael. 9 out of 40, Emil Forsberg. Maybe there wasn't an auto in, or no low-numbered card in that other one. Max asking, why didn't I stream on Tuesday and Wednesday? Max clearly does not follow us on Twitter, at Jaspie's Hobbyland, and clearly is not in our Facebook group. Be sure to follow us and retweet any fun tweets that you see there. Let me actually go through this other one here. There should have been at Jazby's Hobbyland. If you follow us, you'll never have to. You'll always know when I go missing. Hmm. I w <laughs> the turtle flu. I wish I had some sort of like swine flu. Then I could catch up on like shows that I've never seen before, like Game of Thrones. Sorry, I think I think I missed. Some. Maybe I didn't. Maybe that box was just a dud. You know, it was just a below average box. <laughs> no, I did not see Infinity War. I actually binge watched a lot of Simpsons episodes from from bed. For some reason, I just got into it. All right, maybe that first box just was a dud, just didn't have anything big. I did see ads for that new Karate Kid boom box. I saw it was, is it, a, is it about the Cobra Kai? Yeah, I guess there wasn't, that first box was kind of a dud. 
Alright, sorry guys. Alright, we'll make up for it here, I hope. Well, I, I already pulled that 125 out of the first box, Nino, but that's it, that shouldn't be considered the low card. There's either a, a, a rare parallel. There wasn't any of these landmark cards either. There should either be a parallel that's like at least like out of 40 or less, out of 20 or less. You know what I mean? Like this one. Should be well under 100. But then after after that, or it should be an auto. Oh yeah, I oh there there it's an it's a series. I have to watch two episodes. For, I can watch two episodes for free, but then I have to sign up for YouTube Red. Soon I'll be signing up for all these subscription services, and then I still have to pay for cable. What is? I feel like I'm going to end up spending spending more money than I already do. All I need, if, if I'm going to cut the cord, all I need is some sort of service, some sort of service that can get me uh, the Dodger Sports Network on their streaming service. The first one to get that, that's the, that's the streaming service I'll go with. I guess I could just get the free month and then cancel. Let's do that. And watch the origin stories of the Cobra Kai. And sweeping the leg and whatnot. The... The Android box. Hey, what's up, lunch money? It does seem like yesterday. Congrats, man. Again. Cigars for everybody from lunch money. All right. A nice mojo refractor. We have not seen an autograph yet, which is mysterious. There's Nicholas Otamendi, wave. Is that on the Iceland? I like the three color ones here. Nagatomo again. Lionel Messi. We'll save one of these Lionel Messi's. Hector Herrera. Uh, it's 33 out of 65. Usama Haddadi for Tunisia. That's out of 199. We'll sleeve up this Messi. And Ector as well. Thomas Muller. And out of 25, we have. Nice! For England, Wayne Rooney. Old Shrek himself, Wayne Rooney. Shrek. Uh, former Manchester United man, 15 out of 25. I don't think he's going to be playing for England this year, is he? He might, actually. I don't know. Alex Oxley-Chamberlain is not going to play. He's got that injury. 
He might actually. It's a great one for. Oh, that's yeah. He is with Everton. Two teams I don't like, Gabriel. As a Liverpool supporter, Everton is the crosstown rival or cross park rival. There's like there's only like a a big field that separates them, and um and Manchester United, Northern England rivals. That is a great autograph, though. Alex Carmichael with the three lines. Yeah, the RC one, two, three. And last box. Yeah, he's a little, little, little on the older side now. I don't know if I'm not, not sure if they're going to include him on this World Cup squad or not. They might actually. I think Wayne Rooney could still be good for England for like, you know, if he gets subbed on in like the sixty or sixty fifth minute or something like that. Have him play like twenty, twenty five solid minutes. He could be pretty effective in a shorter amount of time. Oh, did he say he's not playing in the World Cup? They could ask. Yeah, since the, the ox is hurt, so they're they're like, there's a spot on that roster. Why not use a vet player? That's true. Harry Harry Kane is there. Although, for for club, Harry Kane seems to score quite prolifically for for Spurs for Tottenham, but I feel like for country, he doesn't score as frequently as you think he would. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. Hopefully another auto out of here. We got Gabriel Gomez, 19 out of 65 for Panama. Panama, Panama, uh, 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 uh. Pan where is Panama on this list? Oh, that's the Nigeria Panama combo for uh, Carlos Christopher. Sorry, Christopher with that one. Dries Mertens. And we've got an autograph Iceland's Gilfi Sigurdsson. Nice. Nice one for Iceland. That goes to Sean. Is he still on Swansea, I think? Or no, did he go to Everton too? I forget. They actually had a good uh they actually had a good Euro campaign. There's old Liverpool man Javier Mascherano. Is he on Everton now? I guess Everton Auto's only. It's Oppo Joe Mojo. Kim Sang Yu for Korea. Gerard Bique. Is that, is that, is that still Shakira's? Shakira Pique? Kim Sang Yu out of 149. Cristiano. Polino. There's Gomez again. Suarez, the biter, at the end. There you have it, folks. 
That was a four-box break of 2018 Panini Prism World Cup Soccer. World Cup's coming up, folks. Get hyped. Time, and time to get into sets like this. So check it out on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks very much, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.